you'll need an intro. Who's like a successful YouTuber? I wonder if... The name is Mr. Mr. Matt. Matt. Sure. And today, we're teaching you how to have an AI roam around in the background. background. So I've been streaming on Twitch with this character for a little bit. And one of the features that I have is that there is this little AI person walking around in the background. Well, during the first stream, he actually was gliding in the background. But I figured out how to actually get him to animate after a lot of head banging and trying to figure it out in the Discord with Fox. Thanks Fox for all your help. So I wanted to make a video to kind of describe what I did. And this is what I ended up with. If you just want to like take a look, kind of zoom in a little bit and see what I ended up doing. But let's also break it down step by step. So to get started, I'm gonna create a completely new project so we can start clean. I'm going to choose the third person template and we wanna make sure that we have the starter content added uh, and we'll just name this the AI Walker project and create project. Once we're in the project, make sure that you're in the third person blueprint folder inside content. So if you go to content, third person blue BP, and then under blueprints, you'll see the third person character. We're gonna keep this the same. We're just gonna duplicate it for our uh, AI walker. The reason being is you'll probably want this initial blueprint to be player controlled or you're controlling it with either a game controller or maybe your motion controllers with your VR headset. So let's go ahead and right click on him. We're gonna hit duplicate and we'll name this AI Walker. Then let's drag our Walker into here. We are going to edit the blueprint and you can go ahead and get rid of the camera boom and the follow camera because we won't need those. You can leave in the uh, movement, everything that you see in the event graph if you would like. I'm gonna get rid of it just for simplicity's sake. Now that we have a clean slate, let's go ahead and right click here and pull up the event, begin play. You're going to pull this out and do set timer by event, and then also pull this out and we'll create a new event, a custom event, and we're gonna call it random running. This way we can call that custom event later if we ever needed to down the road. Next, we will pull from here Go to cast the third person animation blueprint. The object will pull out into get nm instance. And you want to make sure to use get animation instance mesh. Then you can just kind of clean this up a little bit. And then from here, we want to do something that I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to get it working because. If you don't do this next step, it'll just look like the character's gliding across. We actually want the, this character to use the walking animation. And so what we will do is pull this out and do set speed. And then we will connect as third person animation blueprint to the target and set this to 300. You can set this to something else, maybe something between 200 and 500, but I've found 300 to be pretty good. All right, so we've set it to use the animation, the walking animation. Once we've started this, kick this off. Now what we want to do is set it so that, that it actually moves the AI around. So here we're going to do AI move to, and we'll connect this set speed to AI move to. For pawn, we're just going to reference self. And for destination, what we're gonna use is the git random reachable point in radius. And then we want to make sure that the origin is get actor location right there. And you wanna make sure to set the radius to something like a, a, a thousand. Back at the AI move to node, let's go ahead and set the acceptable radius to 25. And now what this is gonna do is basically take our actor and within that radius uh, that we're setting in those two nodes, it's going to allow it to move within that. Now what we want to do though, once it's successful or even when it fails to move to the point that it's trying to reach, we wanna make sure that we set the speed 
for the animation blueprint back to zero so it stops the walking animation. So on success, we're going to do the exact same thing we did earlier. Cast to third person animation blueprint and the object will be get animation instance. And again, make sure to use mesh. I'll just clean this up just a little bit. I'm going to highlight it. Cop, I'm going to do control C for copy, control V for paste. And then I'm going to connect it on fail so that whether we are successful or we fail, uh, we want to cast to the animation blueprint and then pull this out and do the set speed node. Make sure that it sets it to zero. Make sure to connect these together. And I'll copy and paste once more and hook these up. And then the last thing before we get out of here, let's go back to our set timer by event node. And you'll set this to however many seconds you want to have it wait before it moves to another point. So uh, for my purposes, I set it to five seconds. So every five seconds, it's going to click off this custom event and move it to another spot that's reachable. So now let's compile and let's save and we can get out of this window now. And the last thing that we want to do is go up here in the top left and nav mesh bounds. We're going to pull this nav mesh bounds volume into the area. And then we want to scale it to how whatever bounds you want this uh, AI to move within. So within the thing that I'm doing on Twitch, it's a pretty small spaceship that he can move in. So it's kind of small, uh, but you could make it much larger. You could also bring it out. And whenever you uh, have this selected, if you just click on the letter P on your keyboard, it'll show you what bounds are acceptable for it to move in. So you can see it can go up here. Uh, it can move along the floor, move onto this box. Uh, so scale this to however you want it to be. As we move it, it will update as well. So now here's the entire acceptable area that'll move within. All right, if you click on P again, that acceptable area will go away. And I'm just gonna go up here and do simulate. And now you'll see every five seconds, our character will start going to another place on the map. Uh, so there's the walking animation. Again, you can change that speed so that it looks like they're running to that certain place or it could be walking. Ah, okay, so one thing I did forget, make sure, let's go back into the blueprint. You want to make sure that looping is true uh, because if you don't, it'll just move once and then not move again. So I'll compile, save, we'll get out of this, hit simulate again. And now every five seconds, so there's our first movement. And now five seconds later, it should also move. There we go. So now this person just randomly walks around uh, and, and goes to different points that are within that range that we've set. All right, so that's how we create a roaming AI bot uh, using our mannequin skin. You can do this with any type of blueprint or any type of character. I may change what Stuart looks like uh, in the future. If you haven't had fun with us over on Twitch, be sure to go over there and follow for whenever we go live at inside this metaverse that we're creating. Uh, any of the new features that we do that I haven't made videos on yet will be showcased over there. Also, if you have questions or just kind of want to show off what you've done in Unreal Engine, make sure to come over to the Discord and hang out with us there. Appreciate all the support and we'll see you in the next video.